last round, three, two minutes. I want to give a big shout out to Cody Saftik, who helps us gather information, some outside background on these fighters. All the useful stuff. Both uh, springy on their feet, ready to go, touch hands, and straight away. Interesting stance from Strider. Yep. Much more of an MMA type oh. stance. Lower. I do think McGew, I haven't seen him before, is better close in. You know, he's got short, he has that ability, the short yes. jab and, and hook. So Doesn't need a long distance. McHugh is doing what you do not want to do, and that is drop your chin down. Now, the upside of it is you can on, take those punches off the top of your Come head, on. which right there, but you can also get hit. Well, he does that. We've talked about it all night, that, that left and then the duck. Yes, and it's, it is a common instinct, but our instincts are often wrong. You have to train, override the natural instincts. Already there's a cut and blood on Stredder's chest. It's, I think it might be coming from his mouth. The techniques of all fighting. Oh, oh good shot from McHugh, great left. The techniques of all fighting, boxing is no different, is based on exploiting your incorrect instincts. Oh, he's, he's, he's showboating a little bit McHugh as well. And McHugh right now is using some of those incorrect instincts right there. That is not what you want to do, but he's shelling in hopes of taking it off the skull. But if instead he takes the hook or the uppercut, he's in trouble. Well, there he goes, and he throws a wild right, and he gets another good shot, though, and he, he hits Stredder. Stredder comes back, though, and he's got a mark just under his right eye as McHugh. Stredder has not made McHugh pay, and McHugh is doing oh, a very nice job of catching punches. There is, he's making him pay there. Absolutely. Hooks and uppercuts is the game right now for Paul Stretter. And land one, move... Oh, good shot, though, a left there from McHugh, and he comes oh, following Oh, that's in. a big one. And that's the first time it's a count. Standing count of 18. Oh, his legs have gone. His legs have gone. He's got time, he'll focus. We, we, his corner's telling him straight in as soon as he's allowed, go straight hunting. And if I'm Stretter, I'm moving my head and I'm firing as he comes in. The bell helped him then. Certainly did. Because it, he, he was having a good round, I thought. He was having a yeah, but he was caught. Yep. And then the legs had gone. Yes. So up until that big punch landed, a very even round, maybe even Stretter was landing the better hooks yeah. as McHugh came in. But McHugh landed the big one at the well, end. It's a 10-8 round, round now, isn't it? 10-8 yeah, be... round. 10-8 round now because of the knockdown. So it'll be... Uh... Interesting to see as Jim to confirm that. Yeah, obviously it was a 10-8 with a knockdown. I thought I thought um, it was Scott's round before that. Um, anyway, he just he just looked a little bit more in control, a little bit more powerful, and a little bit quicker that first round. He's Good dropping shot, his head a little bit. So if Stretter's team is seeing that, at least Stretter has a way yes. to get this round back. Stretter's got you know like that kind of army boxing, correct boxing. Um, Scott wants to play to the crowd and show up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's going to make it really good for these next couple of rounds. A great shot to put him because fantastic his legs have gone. Yeah, great fantastic shot. shot. Thank you, Jim. That's Jim Freeman for those uh, watching on Virgin. He's again, one of the people make some noise for these two. BKB. He'll it's tell no us round every two. round what the judges are saying. And straight away, Stredder comes forward. Yeah, and we'll, see if, we'll see if there's any damage from that shot. Stredder is doing something we haven't seen done super successfully, which is wide open hand shelling and cut right there, covering up. Quick hand. Oh, another clip. Yeah. It's a count. He's got really quick hands, Stredder. Yeah, but they're not connecting. Yeah, and McHugh is covering the head. He's catching off the hand and the wrist. And it's not something we've seen people you have a lot of success with. But each of the every time you see somebody work a slightly different approach, all the other fighters take note of it and they start playing with it in their own game as this beautiful sport progresses. Look at McHugh. McHugh is waiting to go. Look, he took his gum shield out and he said, let's go. He wants to go. Here he comes looking for him. He wants to finish this now. It's and he's done. put him down again. That's it all over. McHugh wins. Knockout. Second round. And that was a... He knew because he took his gum shield out and he said to the referee, start this, because he knew I'm yep. hunting him, I can finish this, and he finished it. Yeah, and, and it was the same as the, uh, the last knockdown, which is a catch and throw. Catch off the right hand, throw with the right hand. So he draws the punch in, catches, and then sits down on his own answer as his man moves towards him, creating a collision. Remember, he's fought once and lost. This is a big night for him to win big one. Night. 
big night. And everything went his way. You know, it, it wasn't one-way traffic per se because round one, Stretter was, had some great chances. But as he came on, as is the case so often with these fighters, confidence feeds more confidence, yes. feeds more confidence. And, and you saw him start to soar in well, that second I suppose round. the way your confidence grows is to land a good shot. Big time. You know, and, and then, then another. And, and your confidence can dip if you take a big shot. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, we'll just wait and see if you get the official confirmation of that, but we, we know already McHugh by knockout, and he goes to his uh, opponent. Big hug for his opponent, Stredder. Yep. Yep. As we wait now for the official announcement, Jim Freeman in there as well, and Robin will be going and interviewing the winner, Scott McHugh, in a moment or two. My as they go. Yep. Um, he's on his way into the ring now as we speak, and... Lee Druitt, our MC, will make the official announcement. Here he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by second round TKO, Scott Lemieux McHugh! 